I remember my f first Olympic Games, I remember watching it uh, with my friends and it was the Sydney Olympics and I remember not knowing much about it but I remember being quite intrigued with it and getting into it but the probably more recent time was the Super Saturday, I think we, we watched that with my uncle and John and the family and that was just unbelievable, like just sat watching that, that was just, uh, I don't know, I can't explain it, especially with it being London as well. Um, just really inspiring, it was just pretty amazing. Um, no, it's funny you should say that, not really, I, I don't find, um, like I've, from a young age I've never really thought, oh I want to go to the Olympic Games, or even thought that I might get there. Um, which is weird because you listen to most sports people and they're like, oh yeah, since I was little uh, I thought I was going to go to the Olympic Games or I wanted to. Um, so for me, it's never been a thing that I've thought about and um, even recently I, it's not something that um, yeah, I've given much thought to, so it's a bit strange. But uh, now obviously I'm at that point, it has be and I might be able to go, it does become a bit more of a realisation that that's... Uh, pretty unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> again, uh, not so much sporting uh, heroes. I have a lot of people around me that even just like family and friends that kind of inspire me. Like I had a friend that had been through a terrible time and an accident and um, she overcame that and then um, was able to get back into sport and just seeing her go through such an awful time and getting through it, it's just so inspiring because I think God, if you know she can do that in her life, then sport's just like something so small and uh, you can like progress in that and it's much easier. Oh, it's it's really exciting. I mean, it's a completely different um, event. You know, it's much shorter and faster and um, it's completely different because you're obviously with other teammates. So it's a bit more pressure if you ask me. I think it's quite um, a, a tricky one because you're obviously in, in, in it together, which is nice, but also you don't want to let people down. So it's a bit of a pressure. Uh, but I think it's so fun and exciting to watch and I think it's great that it's um, a team sport can be in the Olympics and it's um, an opportunity for us all to have fun together, I think. <sighs> this is quite a tricky one actually. I'd probably go Flora first leg, get a good lead. Um, then for the men, I would probably stick ooh, an help here. Men, don't really. Maybe Vincent, he's quite a good, he's all right, isn't he? Yeah, Vincent, he can go second to extend that lead. Then it would be, let's think, Katie, all around her, good egg. She'd, she'd pull out a good third leg. And then to f finish, I'd go a little yee. I think he'd uh, he'd uh, pull through and uh, smash the smash the run. I think we'd win by miles, to be fair. So yeah. Um, certainly not serious or singing. <laughs> I would say I'm quite chatty, maybe laid back ish. Maybe John would say that different, but yeah, just quite chilled. Uh, try to just be relaxed and enjoy it really. Once everything's done, you kind of, as long as, you know, bikes are racked and stuff, I'm not really bothered. Yeah, just chatting. I think most of the GB girls are pretty chatty, so we're all just like, just enjoy it. Hopefully not. No, if it did, I, would, I think, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be like, oh, this is a bit strange. But yeah, no, probably not. Cause yeah, it's just another race, isn't it? It's just the same thing, so. Yeah, it's it's mad to even think, I guess. Um, it's, it's pretty impressive. I mean, the amount of people that get together and watch the Olympics. I remember even at London, like every night coming home and enjoying watching every event you know like sport that I probably never thought I'd be interested in I'd be really interested in it so I think it's amazing that people can all get together for, around the world and watch something that um, 
like inspires everybody and um, I, I don't know it's just great fun to watch and yeah I think it's pretty special. Um, I don't think so I think I surprise myself a lot like I'm quite um, I underestimate myself quite a lot so I, I think I would if you'd have asked me maybe a year or two years ago I wouldn't have even said that I'd be anywhere near like thinking that I might qualify so um, I think the thing I've learned is probably to be a bit more confident and uh, believe in myself a bit more um, but yeah other than that I've pretty much I think I'm still still the same sort of athlete as I was when I were doing my local triathlons at home <laughs> so I don't think I've changed that much not that I think anyway <laughs> Um, yeah, so the test event, I didn't find it too bad, to be fair. I think it's uh, it could be a completely different race uh, come the Olympic Games because it depends on how hot it is. It wasn't actually... Well, I didn't think it was that hot. Uh, the water obviously could get a lot hotter and, um, and the, the air temperature could, so it could be completely different. But as far as the test event went, I thought it was it was all right. If, it was, if it's like that, it would be, be pretty... pretty decent really um, yeah the water didn't really bother me and the course is pretty good I quite liked it technical and uh, you can really see each other that much in the course which I quite like and uh, yeah I think it'll be a good course um, yeah it's funny I, I haven't really changed anything that was my um, aim I didn't really I just wanted to do the same sort of things as I did the year before because it's gone quite well for me. I just kind of didn't really want to do anything drastic and and change anything. So I've kind of kept it the same, just you know, running through the World Series. Although maybe not now, but um, yeah, the plan was to just go through the World Series as planned and as usual, and and then hopefully get fitter towards the end of the season. And um, success for me is probably being happy and content with how I've performed. So um, for me, it's probably not, you know, always to win it or anything like that. As long as I'm quite happy with the way I've performed or something's gone right, then I think, yeah, that's success. Because I feel like um, even being here and doing triathlon, it's like quite a big bonus for me. So. Yeah, anything's a bonus. If there's something you wouldn't know about Jess, it's that I've got two hamstrings instead of three because I ruptured one and it never repaired. 